So MSI has announced the release of the AMD AGISA 1.2.1 Beta BIOS firmware for its entire 500 series motherboard portfolio based on the X570 and B550 as well as the A520 chipsets. Now the BIOS firmware addresses a few issues but the two main ones are support for smart access memory on Ryzen 3000 series desktop CPUs and the L3 cache performance fix for Ryzen 5000 series. However, before we carry on, I'd like to ask that you let us know if you prefer to the point two topic videos by leaving a like and if you prefer the two a day approach where we break it down topic by topic leave us a comment in the section below letting us know as we mentioned before the amd agisa 12.1 bios firmware was mainly to fix the bugged l3 cache performance for amd ryzen 5000 series desktop cpus now amd also announced that it will be enabling smart access memory support for its ryzen 3000 series during the radeon rx 6700 xt gpu launch event and that's being delivered as well now the AGISA 12.1 BIOS firmware addresses that L3 cache performance issue where users were facing when updating to the 12.0 BIOS firmware. For that purpose, a test setup with the AMD Ryzen 9 5950X CPU as well as an MSI MEG B550 Unity motherboard was used and this test comparison was done with both the AGISA 12.0 and the latest 12.1 firmware. In addition to fixing the L3 cache performance in IDA64, the BIOS firmware also improves gaming performance performance and we were provided with a benchmark within Shadow of the Tomb Raider where it can be seen that the 12.1 BIOS firmware boosts the performance up to 17% on the CPU average. And lastly, we couldn't forget to mention again smart access memory support for AMD Ryzen 3000 series CPUs. Now AMD stated that its users can expect gains up to 16% and the screenshots included show that the Ryzen 9 3900 XT featuring a large memory range addressable bar when running the Ryzen RX 6800 graphics card. This feature will be supported by all Ryzen 3000 series Matisse and Matisse refresh desktop CPU. As always, make sure you get the latest BIOS firmware from MSI's website to ensure the best and most stable performance for your AMD Ryzen 3000 and 5000 series desktop CPUs. Now on to everyone's favorite topic, mining, right? Well, either way, NVIDIA's hash rate limiter for its upcoming RTX 30 series graphics cards, such as what's used in the RTX 3060, may have been short-lived as cryptocurrency miners based in China have found a way to bypass it using a custom mod. Now, NVIDIA itself was pretty confident about the hash rate limit for gaming-grade graphics RTX 30 series graphics cards, and the GeForce RTX 3060 was the first in the lineup to receive such a treatment, and the company stated that it was going to be hard to crack or even buy bypass based on how each aspect of the GPU was communicating with the other. Now the hash rate limiter worked by determining whether a set of mining algorithms were being run on the GPU and immediately having those mining rates. Now the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 delivered around 40 to 45 mega hash per second, but as soon as the mining was initiated on the card, it dropped down to 20 to 25 mega hash per second. However, a Chinese mod is now floating around that will help miners unlock the full potential of the RTX 3060 graphics card, and a picture spotted by iLeakVN shows the GeForce RTX 3060 crushing 45 mega hash per second in Ethereum mining of Dagger Hashimoto algorithm. A total of 8 graphics cards were used in delivering the combined hash rate of 362.75 mega hash. Also, a Vietnamese Facebook group has also verified the mod actually works and can deliver upwards to 50 mega hash per second on the GeForce RTX 3060 graphics card. Now, such a rate would mean that crypto miners would now rush over to the RTX 3060 graphics cards considering they deliver a similar hash output as the RTX 3060 and close to the RTX 3070 when both are at stock with a much lower power draw. Now this will result in an even more imminent shortage of the only mainstream RTX 30 series gaming graphics cards on the market right now and several people are reporting that they are expecting a large hike in prices given the demand for this particular card as this mod rolls out to the public. Graphics cards such as the unreleased RTX 3080 Ti are also expected to feature the hash rate limit but if modders can bypass the RTX 3060 then it's sad to say that the limit will also be bypassed on the 3080 Ti as well. All right, guys, I want to thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you liked what you saw here, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there. Hit the bell notification so that we don't miss you in the future. And if you want to catch out something you may have missed, hit up the links over here on this side. And we'll catch you in the next one.